like and subscribe right now. Or else this will be in your bed tonight. I'm an adult male virgin now. I wonder if that's a surprise to anyone after reading this. What is a sign that you're unattractive? You're 13 and at a sleepover and a fellow 13 year old you've known for 20 minutes looks you straight in the eye and, unprompted, says you're really ugly. I'm less ugly now but it was true at the time. You're a bitch Jordan. When you post a picture to social media and all the comments are about how brave you are. When I worked at a homeware store I greeted a guy and we started a conversation. I can't remember how but it ended with him gesturing to my face and saying beauty isn't on the outside it's on the inside. I'm sure he meant well but God did that cause a spiral of self-consciousness. I was only 15 and several people send you the same poem about being beautiful on the inside yeah, that happened. In middle school we had a project with foreign students who came to visit. For whatever reason the guys were all lined up against the wall, and the girls from the other school took it as an opportune moment to run down the line and hug everyone. Except when they got to me they balked, looked confused, and moved on. How about when you finally manage to find someone, your parents keep going on about how they never thought it would happen. Like ever. Yes this happened in my big fat Greek wedding. It also happened to me in real life five years before that movie came out. Thanks mom and dad. When people talk to you in order to get to know your friend. This happened to me in junior high. My best friend, hot new guy, and I engaged in a water fight during lunch. The bell rang and he touched my shoulder and asked if I could stay back a second because he wanted to ask me something. After three years of walking quietly in the shadow of my best friend's incredibly massive middle school breasts, I cannot describe the feeling of finally being seen by someone I liked. He asked me if my best friend would say yes if he asked her out. Even though my soul was crumbling out my butt in that moment, I told him she would, and walked her over to him. Picking up my backpack and walking to class all alone, looking back and seeing them holding hands and smiling into each other's faces. I think he's gay now. I've always been an extremely androgynous woman, and not particularly good looking. I absolutely adored a boy in my study group. We got along well and would cuddle on the couch a lot, we were child actors so we had our study group in our tutor's apartment. I finally got up the nerve to ask him out and he said, listen, if I wanted to look like I was dating my little brother, I'd date my little brother. Absolutely fucking destroyed me. That and a few other things combined to give me such hellish low self-esteem that I wasted years of my life with an abuser who I thought was the only one that would ever love me. If you tell a self-deprecating joke, everyone will look uncomfortable or get quiet. A friend of mine never makes self-deprecating jokes, I managed to pull them off a majority of the time, but one incident where it didn't always comes to mind because of how well my friend pulled it off. It was at a mutual friend's birthday party. We all know each other pretty good and there's nothing that can't be talked about. Me, my friend and this girl were talking. I made a self-deprecating joke I don't remember, she didn't laugh and just said my mother always told me you should never look down on yourself. With a certain delivery almost mocking me telling it wasn't funny but that she had a comeback. We fuck with each other back and forth like this so it's all done in jest. My friend however, said right after her line with a tone in his voice only an utterly defeated person that looks down on himself could say, you must understand this, you need to be a certain level of pathetic and miserable, only people like me can do it right. That's when it became funny to all of us, especially how he managed to back me up in the process and we all laughed. It needs to be clever and well put. If you go for them a lot or the delivery isn't perfect, people won't laugh and think there may be more shit to it. Especially if they know you've been down or noticed insecurity. Emo it's the hardest joke to make in social settings. In my opinion, don't let it get to you, learn when it works and when it doesn't. Use them sparingly, try different approaches. That's what it takes to be funny, it's a skill like everything else so there's no need to overanalyze it. You only match with bots on Tinder, and then those bots tell you that you ugly. So, three of us live in the same place. 
Both of my buds started using Tinder and they were getting matched often. Wondering what the hype was all about, I started using Tinder as well. Set up my profile and such, got zero matches. Then asked for tips from the other two and they told me to swipe right on every profile. I did that and finally I got a match. She initiated the conversation and a few small talks later, she started pushing some MLM scheme onto me, to which I politely noped, and consequently deleted Tinder. When people's eyes just consistently glaze over you. Their eyebrows get low and eyes get narrow and smaller. You don't exist to people. If there's one thing I could experience again in my life it would be my life from birth until 15. These were the happy days of my life where people respected me and would see me and smile and have wide eyes and a happy demeanor. Once puberty fully kicked in after 15 I never saw that look again from anyone because I became totally ugly and I didn't grow an inch after that and people didn't respect me because I wasn't a bigger kid anymore. It took me until my late 20s to realize this and what happened to me and why people's eyes would look dead when they saw me or had to talk to me after freshman year of high school. I would give anything to just see that happy and respectful look from another person again. Deep down I know I'll likely never see it again. It's unbearable living this way. When I was an underclassman in high school I had a crush on a hot popular girl and I would talk to her on instant messenger in a friendly way. She initiated convos with me after I stupidly asked her friend to ask the girl I liked to go out with me. I didn't really even know the girl I liked well but it was a crush and I was a stupid loser who didn't understand that this isn't how you go about romance or dating as a freshman. I had no idea that you have to actually talk to and get to know the girl before you ask her out. So this girl's friend apparently goes to the girl I like and says that I like her and after this the girl I like starts messaging me on AIM in a friendly way. Our convos are friendly and I'm nervous as hell talking to her and a handful of times she baits me into thinking she liked me and I ask her to hang out or pathetically and meekly tell her I like her and each time she suddenly logs off mid-conversation. She would go on to act friendly around me in school in a flirty way but by no later than junior year that stopped. One of her friends told me once that she had been saying really bad things about you and I was confused and just sort of clueless and aloof and didn't even take to heart what her friend told me. I just sort of shrugged and in hindsight it's like I didn't realize what that meant and what was going on. Many years after high school at 27 years old as I laid awake at night in the throes of severe depression and suicidal thoughts I finally realized and understood what she did to me and what my high school experience was like without me even understanding the experience while I was experiencing it as a teen. My crush was leading me on and making me look like a pathetic fool and loser and she would bait me into thinking I had a shot with her before signing off of AIM and slamming the door in my face. I was such a clueless loser back then that I thought that she just lost her internet connection multiple times. I realized that she was saving our conversations and sharing them with her friends and half of them were laughing hysterically at me while the other half felt bad for me but of course lost any and all respect for me forever. This girl is probably why I had zero positive interactions with girls in high school, and maybe even why I lost some of my guy friends. She probably told them about our convos as well and they lost respect for me. It's not a coincidence that the moment when she stopped having her fun with me and stopped interacting with me altogether is when I immediately lost my guy friends. She used to mock the clothes or shirts I wore to school by saying that she liked what I was wearing and I would smile and say thanks. But of course she didn't like my style and was mocking me to my face. The fact I didn't get it, made it hysterical to her. She more than likely ruined a significant part of high school and my life and I didn't even know that she did until I was 27 and my life was over. She poisoned the social well for me and made sure lots of people didn't like me and I had no idea until years later when I put a lot of memories and things together. Almost forgot to mention I'm totally ugly and this is why she did this to me. I had zero chance with her and had no clue about the role of looks in life. I didn't understand that girls like her literally don't even want me looking at them or talking to them. I had zero understanding of this back then. I'm an adult male virgin now. 
I wonder if that's a surprise to anyone after reading this. There's even more to the story but this comment is too long already. Like and subscribe. For more r slash ask reddit videos.